the living cartoon Peacock is ready to rock. Hey guys, it's your boy DeNero back at again with another video, and this time I'm playing Peacock of Skullgirl's fame. <laughs> um, even though I'm not very familiar with the lore and all the jazz about um, Skullgirls, I've played it from time to time, and I instantly started to vibe with Peacock because of her unique aesthetic, you know, referencing older American animation such as, you know, Mickey Mouse, Oswald and the Lucky Rabbit, Felix, the Lucky Cat maybe, I don't know, just a lot of old stuff like that, the black and white, you know, the same thing that inspired Cuphead to be created. So just with that unique art style and all these other anime girls in there, even though Peacock is in the game, it's still considered as such because anime is just an abbreviation of the word animated, I just like Peacock a lot because her attitude and her arsenal and just her character design is just all very cool and unique and awesome. And I'm pretty sure everybody shares the same sentiment if you're a Peacock fan. But anyway, enough of the chit chat. Let's get into the colors and let's get into the moveset. So here's the base color. I'm not going to know any references. These are probably just the direct colors. It's been so long since I played uh, Skullgirls, but these are probably just, just the colors she has. Uh, purple tea. Pink tea. And then here we go, every character that's trying to feel like an official character in this always has an uh, Abyss and a Game Boy. This might be... Uh, I feel like this... I don't know. That reference, this color, might reference some milk character? I I feel like if this gets enough views, someone's going to know what I mean. I think her name's like Milky Chan or something. Something weird. But, uh, you know, let's shoot. Let's, uh, if anything, let's play... Play this color in, tra in training, and I will just go. To, yeah. Yeah. Let's do this in one take. Action. Okay, we're still having the frame rate problems that we were having in the previous video. Just, yeah, what the heck? The whole low FPS in the corner. Forget it. Anyway, uh, taunts and all that jazz. Okay. So here's her taunt. Wait, she's a. No. She's a moon. Really? I didn't know she was a moon character. That doesn't seem right. Is it the stage? Let me see. Because frame data, patch notes. I guess not. No? Yeah? Hmm. What was going on? Double tapping the joypad. Yeah, I know I could. I, she has a, a slight baby air dash component. Uh, what? What the heck did I say? I can cancel itself. Wow. Well, shoot, I'm not gonna let the phone do my job. Freaking, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this thing? Okay, just time again. And this gravy. I did not know she was made by him. I'm pressing stuff. Let me just not taunt. Okay. You saw her taunt though. Surprisingly, she didn't just straight up whip out a foam. She just she did do her taunt, lift up the hat, and everything. Anyway, I got this. I'm not gonna let a phone replace me. Anyway, let's start with the neutral stuff. She has a one, two, three of two pokes and then some pie. Her up tilt is the bird coming out and doing a kick. Down tilt is a floorboard coming out with a fist. It's hard doing tilts on a platform. Four tilt is a cannonball and that's gonna be the thing you're gonna notice about peacock she is kind of a zoning master so um okay now let's do the specials to zo to, let's do the specials to show that zoning ability because what we got is neutral b which can be one bomb but then it, there's enough time if it's not if it's not on the person you can have other bombs coming out and usually it's only two you can get i'm pretty sure if the stage is big enough and if the bombs aren't hitting someone there might be the ability to do a third i don't know but yeah, I don't know. I'm probably wrong, but don't call me on that. Okay, so like, okay, bomb, which is neutral B, and then do side B, because that's side B. You can just press it once, or you can press it three times. Press it twice. One, two times. I meant two times. One, two. There we go. Okay. And then up B is teleporting. You can just hold the direction to teleport which way you want, but that's only on the ground because she goes into the ground. But once she's in the air, it's this bounce pad, so... So, what is there a way? I could have swore I saw a way for someone to not touch the pad. I don't know. But just do one jump, do another jump, air dodge, and then shoot, even do her air dash that she has. So, like, just jump, and then start tapping left, or start tapping right. 
But yeah. That was all the special side B. Uh, oh, I didn't do down B. Down B is just an item falling from the sky, and you see this little black mark where the red lines end. It, it'll be multiple things. It'll be that anvil. Um, it'll be that anvil. It'll be a baseball. It'll be a TV. It'll be an elephant. It could be anything. It's a lot of things. So it's all a reference to Skullgirls and a reference to other things in media. But, uh... You can press down B. You don't have to wait for it to just completely fall like that. You can press down B again and let it fall earlier. But if you are to get hit while the down B is happening, the down B will completely cancel and nothing will fall down at all. So it's best that you maybe just let it get to level 2 and then let it, let it ride. Okay, enough of the specials. Let's look at the aerials. We got Nair. But press Nair twice to let a chainsaw out. Or is it hold it? Is a hold Nair? No, let's press it twice. That is, that's very hard to do in battle. Kind of scrapey. I can't even do it right now, but you did see it. That's hard to do. Back air, which is letting one of her eyes from her arms just poke out. I don't know if it's that strong. Oh, actually it is. Okay. Foreign air is a shotgun in the air. Of course, that, that has amazing kill power. And down air. Now down air is weird because look, she can wiggle her legs and she's look, she's putting her head into her hat and her teeth are coming out of the ground only a little bit more forward than where she's at. So let's say right about here I should be hitting. Yep, that's down air. And it's that's really weird, but yeah. Also she's doing kind of a Yoshi motion like Yoshi's down air in Smash Brothers. So that can hit, but what you're really looking for is the teeth. It's weird, but she does do it in Skullgirl, so it's not like it's not right here. Her up air is letting that bird out of her head and just let, how to, let me see, let's, hmm. I don't know how that's hitting. Okay, but that's how it's hitting, okay. And it did down, it did forward air. Okay, now we're going to do the smash attack, this is probably going to kill Philia right here. But forward smash is a, uh, a bat covered in spikes, and yeah, that's easily her best smash attack. What's down? Oh, down smash is whipping out the ukulele and rocking out for a bit. Uh, the longer you hold the, the down smash, the longer the charge is. Yeah. Not the longer the charge, the longer the range, my, my apologies. And then up smash, which is a boxing glove out of the hat. And that's it, because uh, there's no neutral smash attack. Who has? Who in smash? Well, Min, Min has air smash attacks, but yeah. Okay, and uh, that's all I could think of, but I'm pretty sure there's something I'm forgetting. I'm pretty sure there's always something I'm forgetting, but I'm going to move on to the actual fights. I guess I could fight Philia first, and then, um, fight Philia first, and then probably fight Cuphead second. Wherever Cuphead is within my roster, get lost in the dang roster. Okay, so let's just do this stage. Let's do this in one take. Action! Oh, I didn't do dash attack. See, there's always something I'm missing. Oh, dang. What's going on here? Ah, oh, man, but if it landed, we would have started doing the Dio reference. That's probably the stock. There you go, I can actually do the taunt without calling my mom. Freaking phone smack with Muno characters. Okay, let's get the... Listening to, I know it's um, I know it's one of the casino songs from uh, Sonic Heroes. Whoa! How'd I get there like that? But it's a remix of sorts, and I could have swore I heard some mean music. Does anyone notice Big back there, back right, right here where Peacock is right now? Does anybody see Big right there fishing for nothing? He has a star on the end of his thing. Metal sound? A metal sound for Samson biting me. It's gravy. No, I'm good. Bat. 
That is not a good update. Look, as much as I love a good victory song, I have to admit that's a pretty long victory song. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, I'm over here silent, and I bet you you guys are wondering, like, why why are we here? Did is the dude dead? Did, do we need to call the police? Even though this videos this video is like days old, uh, depending on whenever you're watching it. <laughs> um, guess I'll do this color next because I like the the baby blue on her teeth and gun and arms. But uh, where's Cuphead? And I think I have her stage. I think it's something like Lab 88. I think I have that, but I just don't know where it is within the large number of stages. I'm waiting for Cuphead because he has a unique thing when you pick him. Yep, you're up. Okay. Um, in reality, I could just go to Cuphead stage since I know where that is. There's so many dang stages. What is this? Mm. Probably just gonna cave in and go to another Sonic stage. I know I downloaded it. I feel like I did, but there's too much schmack. Well, since we want to be a Muno character, why not do Training Town? Can, can change? Nah, I was playing with that. It was still, still changing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Uh, let's just pick a basic stage. That was horrible on all levels. That was horrible, that's not normal. This computer I'm using to record this video, is on. it's been on its last leg for so long, it's time to put the little thing down, man, but just... <sighs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, uh, where are we going? Let's just go to basic stage for now. I mean, most of these stages are basic as heck, but what's this? I guess Castlevania. Cophead, what are you doing? Wow, wow, he can move! I know he can move, I fought him before against the boss, but... So, so, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get two bombs out. I, okay, listen, two, do another one, and then do side B, do forward tilt, and then do the down B. Look at that stage control. Look at that stage control. You aren't ready for that. Let's get that out. Get that elephant cake out here. <laughs> elephant, man. Shucks. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't know anything about Casmania, but I like the song. Check it. Oh boy, that's that. Mmm, lobber. Okay, we got it, you're lobbing! Castlevania music, man, is so freaking good. I don't know what's going on with this music, but it's awesome. Don't be, don't get hit. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking. Damn it, I keep missing the Dio reference. Ah, oh, it almost happened. I'm gonna keep going for it because the video is almost over. Oh shucks, I got hit. That's that is a freaking weird down smash. Down B, keep. Ah, oh, I, I was mashing it, so I got some puny rinky dink bowling ball. Come on, is that big enough? Go! That's a uh, freaking Easter Island! Ah, shucks. Gonna have to put you down, Cuphead. Sorry. Dang it. That is such a good... That's such good pixel art. I like this game's whole thing. Like, one of my favorite things about Smash Brothers is the victory screen. It's just everything, just... Just a lone moment where the character can shine as just themselves without anybody there to interrupt them, even though in Brawl, 
in 64, Brawl in 64, the person you just beat was right behind you clapping, and that kind of made things awkward because I'm over here showboating and gloating, and you're just right there clapping, and I know good and well you don't want to clap, even though everybody's like, GG. Let's be honest, now everybody wants to say GG's, but anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. Even though this game doesn't have victory animations, this whole thing where they're just facing to the right epically, it's good enough, and I like all the kind of art I can get from this. It's just, I, I get really cool pictures of the characters I like from this. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. Thanks for your time, everyone. Until next time, take care, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.